Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today we've been given a brand new Future Stars Academy card to grind for. This time this one is just straight fire. It's 86 rated French Premier League center back Fofana. This guy is worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button. And he's got bagels. We got bagels. Whoa! Now I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way. I'm going to share with you some teams to use where you can go for Fofana and Rainier at the same time. But before we begin, if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. I also wanted to point out I am streaming live on Twitch now, so make sure to go check out twitch.tv slash Daddy. But let's just get right into it. Here we go. First one, we've got 12 different objectives. It's very similar to the other ones, but starts off where you can do the first couples and just squad battles on beginning difficulty if you want to, but score four goals using French players. So if you've already got someone like Mbappe, in your team or Ben Yedder or Bamba or someone like that, you would get this without even knowing. But if you don't have one of those, just take any French player, go into a squad battles match on beginner difficulty, score four goals. And if you're playing squad battles on beginner difficulty, you can put your controller down and it just nothing else will happen. Just let the match run out. Then you will unlock 78 rated Fofana. So that's the first part of the journey. So for anybody who has not done Future Stars Academy yet, you're basically kind of growing these cards up to where you will ultimately end up with that 86 rated Fofana. But we start off with the 78 rated Fofana then you're going to need to put that 78 rated Fofana into a team and you can still do this on squad battles on beginner difficulty so but notice here it's a center back but you may have to make an adjustment and move him up to striker or cam just somewhere in attacking position because he'll need to assist two goals in one match and then win three matches with Fofana and minimum four Four French players, so just any French players. If you're playing on beginner difficulty, they can be bronze French players, they can be silver French players, they can be whatever French players you want to come up with. But just make sure you have four French players in your starting squad. And this is concede no more than one goal in four separate matches with 78 overall future stars Fofana in your starting squad. So again, on all of those, just have Fofana, that 78 Fofana, plus four French players. If you want to do them all on beginner difficulty, because again, notice what I said. If you play beginner difficulty on squad battles, you can score. Then you can set your controller down. Now, if you want to grind out squad battles, that's fine. If you want to play it on legendary difficulty, that's fine. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying the easiest way, play it on beginner difficulty. You can set your controller down. Then you don't even have to worry about conceding a goal or anything like that. Now, I've had a couple questions from some people that maybe don't understand that lingo. Concede just means that you give up a goal. So this is concede no more than one goal. So if the match ends where you win two to one, then that's going to be one one for this objective. However, if you win seven to three, then you've conceded three goals. You've allowed three goals into your own net. So that's going to not count for this objective. So four separate matches conceding no more than one goal. And then you're going to get an 82 rated CDM Fofana. So now we're going to continue the grind. Now we're going to have to start moving into some other difficult or to some other challenges where we're not going to be able to do it in squad battles on beginner difficulty. However, this very first one you can do in beginners on beginner difficulty if you want to, because he's maybe not the best. You can see there, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of small, but his shooting on the CDM card is only 62. So if you're having any problems banging in goals with this 82 rated Fofana. You can do this in squad battles on beginner difficulty. Just score the three goals with Fofana. Again, put your controller down and you will be done. But now we're getting at the managerial masterpiece. And one thing you may notice or may remember if you haven't done many of these objective players, a lot of them take place in managerial masterpiece. So right now we are working on this Rainier card. We are up to the 85 rated Rainier. And we are having to do things in managerial masterpiece with Rainier. So our main goal will be to combine Rainier's plus Fofana objectives. Now the other thing you can do, which I didn't mention, now if you're working towards Cucurella, Cucurella takes place entirely in squad battles. So make sure on these first couple matches where you're going towards Fofana that you can also combine them with Cucurella if you're working towards Cucurella at the same time. Now if you're going for Cucurella, then you may need to be playing on professional difficulty or there's one where you need world-class difficulty for crosses. So you may need to do that. Just keep that in mind. But if you're just going to go for this Fofana route, then the beginner difficulty is definitely Definitely the easiest one. So now from here on out, everything else is a managerial masterpiece. And this is assist four goals using 82 overall rated Future Stars Fofana and the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece. 
So just keep that in mind. This does not have a games restriction. So you've, if you're having any trouble with this, getting it. But it was going to be combined with this one. So as long as you're doing this one, you're going to get this one. Because notice what this one says. Assist using 82 overall rate at Future Stars Fofana in six separate matches. So if you get an assist with Fofana in six separate matches, that will be six assists. So then you're going to hit this four goals assist. So you'll hit this one at the same time without even thinking about it. So it's not really going to matter. So the main thing is the only downside with this one, this Fofana here does not have great attacking stats. It's 62 shooting, 75 passing. His dribbling is a little poor. So he's going to feel a little stiff on the ball. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because you're going to have to have him more in an attacking position, maybe as a central cam, maybe as a two-way midfielder. Maybe he can get enough assists that way. But just make sure you're working to get an assist. And that's honestly almost one of the harder challenges of, of what we have right here is having to get the assist in six separate matches but notice they are not win conditions so it's possible if you have any problems message your opponent before the match say hey can I get an assist with Fofana get my goal with Rainier so maybe you can get a goal with Rainier get your assist with Fofana because it, that particular one does not have a win condition so if you're having any problem with that, then maybe that's what you want to do. But you should be able to get them as long as you have them in an attacking position. Just keep spamming assists, spam through balls, just do whatever you can do. But once you have that one done, then you're starting to get to a serious card. Then we get that 84 rated center back Fofana. So now we're starting to realize some of his potential. The next one is Leicester lineup. Now we have some win conditions, but this one is only win six matches in the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece piece with Fofana in your starting lineup. So now we can have whatever we want, and I'll share with you a squad to use here shortly on what I think would be a nice squad to take into managerial masterpiece, but you don't have to score with them. You don't have to assist with them. You can leave Fofana where he's going to be strongest as a center back. Then the next one is score eight goals using Premier League players. Now notice it's not score eight goals with Fofana. It's score eight goals with Premier League players. All you have to do is have that Fofana in your starting lineup. So they, it's almost like they made it easier for this one because you know you're having to get assists with this fairly poor 82 rated CDM Fofana. But luckily they're not asking you to bang in goals or get assists with that center back Fofana. But you do have to assist three goals in one match with Fofana. So now what I'm thinking you may want to do is if you have a match where you're winning pretty big or if you have a match where you have an opponent message you early, then maybe try to take advantage of that at that time. So you are going to have to have at least one game where you bring that center back, that 84 rated Fofana, into more of an attacking position and maybe hopefully get all three assists in just one game and then just be done with it and not have to worry anymore about bringing that Fofana into an attacking position. Now here's our biggest grind. Scoring 16 separate matches using French players and the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece with 84 overall Fofana in your starting squad. So just keep that in mind that we're going to have to score with French players. So we're looking to score with French players and we're also looking to score with Premier League players. But notice that the Premier League one is only eight goals. So you could, in theory, get this one all taken done, taken out in one game. So if you want to, if you want to message your opponent, say, hey, I'll give you a win. You could get three assists with Fofana, score eight goals with Premier League players, and you're done with these two parts. Then all you have to do is just score in 16 separate matches using French players. So the team I'm going to give you is, is combining Fofana and Rainier. If you're only going for Fofana, for, for Fofana, you may, if you have an Mbappe, I know a lot of people love using Mbappe loan cards in these objectives. That would certainly work for it, you know, especially if you're able to knock out these two early. So just keep that in mind. But the team I'm going to suggest is going to be going for Fofana and Rainey at the same time. And that's the best thing to do when you can combine these objectives. And so once you've assisted, or know what it scores, in 16 matches, the last thing is just play 25 games with Fofana in your starting squad. But notice most of these objectives require Fofana to already be in your starting squad. So you should already be at that 25 games with Fofana in your starting squad. And once you do all of that, you'll be able to bring in this monster 86 rated center back Fofana to the team. 79 pace, 86 defending, 86 physical. But let me share with you the team that I would recommend for you to grind Fofana and Rainier at the exact same time. So let's just go down here and take a look at what we've got. So if you notice, a lot of the things we're going to be requiring Premier League plus French. So I've got a Rainier. I've already got the 85 Rainier in my team. I'm finishing up how I'm going to go for Rainier. 
But if you're at that point, if you start both of them at the same time, and when I made the video for Rainy, I kind of recommended maybe waiting, you know, until you had multiple objectives to go for at once. So here we're going to be going for Rainier, and I'm going to surround him with Lucas Mora, Bernard, and Mateus Pereira to have the Brazilian links to get uh, Rainier on 10 Kim. Now notice everybody is Premier League in the squad, but we do have a couple French players. So we've got St. Maximin, so I really would recommend getting the St. Maximin into your team. Now some of these cars may be a little pricey right now where Fofana just came out. So St. Maximin may be going for a little more than he may be going in a few days, so kind of keep that in mind. But that St. Maximin car will certainly be able to bang in some goals for you, and that will give you Premier League goals plus French goals. Now, if you're getting late in the match and you haven't gotten that French goal, we also am, I'm recommending Musa Sissoko in this team. He's going to be our smasher in the midfield, just trying to win some balls back. But he's got good pace, especially if, if you put a shadow on him, if you put a catalyst on him. So he may be able to get in there and bang in a goal. You can put him up top. And I'm also recommending at, on the subs bench having this in Kudu. So we want to take advantage of our subs bench. And there's this French and Kudu 93 pace. Now his shooting's not great. But his dribbling is is a nice, you know, he's going to be able to at least be able to get in on goal, uh, potentially being in a goal for you. So if you're late in the match and you haven't gotten a French goal, then we're going to make some changes. You can put Sissoko maybe as your cam, put St. Maximin up top and bring in Kudu on as a striker. So you at least have some options if, if you're needing to bring in that last minute French goal and if you haven't been able to get there. Now, one thing I want to point out, a manager and masterpiece, you do need a 77 rated squad. And sometimes I have people ask me this all the time. Pete, I put this squad out here and it's an 80 rated. Always make sure you fill out your subs bench. A managerial masterpiece, you're allowed three silvers. So make sure you have three 65 rated silvers and then 75 rated gold. So you have three 65 rated golds on the subs and four 75 rated golds on the subs. And that's what's going to bring your rating down. Notice if I just remove this one, let me just get rid of him here. Notice my rating is now 78. So this team would not qualify. So that's how important it is. So you want to make sure you go silver, low to high. We're going to have three 65 rated silvers, four 75 rated gold on the subs bench. And if you don't have this Lucas Mora, if you just want to have gold Lucas Mora, that's completely fine. That 83 rated gold Lucas Mora works more than more than magic. Now one potential problem with this squad is that Tomori is now at Milan. So if you don't have this card, you may want to go ahead and buy him and just save on save one of him. Now I don't know. Let's see what Tamori is going for if he's already went up. When I looked yesterday, Tamori was still like in want to say like the three thousand range, even for his Chelsea version. Uh, actually, we can't filter it by, so it's unfortunate we can't filter. So even there, so still, I would recommend go ahead, buy one of these Tamoris, keep them in your team for the rest of the year because Manager Your Masterpiece has been a big part of FIFA 21, and Tamori is all is a perfect managerial masterpiece player because he's 76 rated, great pace, plays far above and beyond a 76 rating. So just keep that in mind and. Same thing with this, like Ryan F Fredericks and Samikas. I've got several cards that are just like my managerial masterpiece specialist. But anyways, this is a team I'm going to recommend. And there's that Fofana, the 84. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the 86 Fofana. So you guys can take a look at what, what we're ultimately playing for. So if we go Fofana, concept players. So here is the 86 Fofana. He's got really good pace. I would recommend a shadow on him. That would make him 91 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. But what I really like about him, he's six foot three. So he's going to be that imposing presence out there. Medium high work rates, which is my favorite for a center back, which means he's not going to try to get too far forward, but he's really going to put his all into defending. He's got good strength at 89. So sometimes that's a problem. If you've got someone who's like 78 strength and you want to put a shadow on him, then you're not getting that boost that an anchor would give when they've got 89 strength you can give that shadow boost and then boost the defending, boost the pace, but he still has that strength to be an imposing presence. And also really good agility for that tall of a center back. 73 agility, 70 balance, which is really strong. If you compare that to someone like Varane, who is like 60, I, think, I may even have my team of the week Varane here. Let's see. But like team of the week Varane, this is the 87 rated. I paid 700,000 coins for him. 64 balance. Now Varane still plays amazing in game, don't get me wrong, but having agility on center backs makes him so much easier to be able to twist and turn with all of these agile attackers that come at us. So 
that's just something to keep in mind. But anyways, boys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Just wanted to share with you the best way to get this 86 Fofanodon. Definitely combine them with Rainier or combine them with some objectives so you can knock out multiple objectives at once. But if you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Definitely check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Pete Daddy. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.